Hello viewers, welcome back to the Medical Board Exam Experience with Dr. Kwafu. Today we are continuing our series of how Dr. Sebastian filled the USMLE step exams but marched into NYU Langoni Hospital Internal Medicine Program. Today we are going to focus on how he passed the step 2 CS. Let us join Dr. Sebastian in our discussion room. The viewers, on this channel I interview doctors who have successfully passed or failed any medical board exams to share the exams preparation experience with us and with all those preparing to write theirs. If you are watching me and you have experience in any medical board exams and would like to share with us, kindly contact me on my Facebook page, Instagram, or leave a comment at the comment section of this video and I'll keep in touch. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and recommend this channel to any medical student or medical doctor who is preparing to write the board exams of any country. Thank you. So after the CK, how long did it take you to begin the CS preparation? It was about, it was a year after. Oh, okay. Okay. And how long did it take you to prepare for the CS? So, months two or three months oh did you attend any lectures like um any special classes no so how did you prepare for it so for this yes yes so the job that i was doing helped um a lot because uh, i was doing research and i was traveling like all over the country visiting uh, participants at their homes and doing physicals um, talking to them and doing kind of like a like a medical history and uh, so okay. helpful for me like i had experience before with patients and this interacting with patients from here that was kind of like a plus for me and then when I was ready to take the test, I just needed to practice. So I found a partner in one of the Facebook groups. Um, we study, or I study by myself first for a month, uh, reading the the first eight for step to CS, uh, reading all the cases, the mini cases, uh, the full cases, and then trying to prepare my template uh something that i memorize you have to you have to memorize your template um because you're gonna use it with all the encounters the same the same template for all the encounters and that is gonna give you a really good structure to prepare for the exam and after that okay. reading the ck the 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 first day for the cs we started practicing we practice probably two or three times a week and um, we when we were practicing i was um, acting as the patient uh for one session we we usually meet from for four hours and we practice probably six or seven cases like from the beginning to the and we did the whole process. We started with entering the room, asking the questions, doing a, a physical, and then with our own laptops, we were typing the note, um, keep going uh, after that, the next. And I'm um, using the timer. We did that. We, we went through all the four cases twice each. And I think oh, okay. that all you need. Okay. So so during the CS CS main exams, how is it like on a typical CS test day? Uh, how is the test? Yes, on a typical CS test day, how is the exams like the environment? How is it conducted? Okay. So I took the test in Atlanta. Um, it, I mean, it was a really good experience. Uh, 
everybody was nice. Of course, you have to get on time. Um, always have some snacks, something to eat, uh, because of course your anxiety uh, is really high during that moment before you start. Um, everything is very organized and very synchronized. Um, the thing about the first patient, the first encounter, I believe is, is the hardest one because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how you're going to react. But I mean, when you're practicing, if you have a structure, keep doing that structure with all your encounters. And then you're going to be fine because you, you have, OK, I did this, then this, then this, then this, and this. And everything is, is they are checking I believe they're checking the same with all the encounters that you, you is like a checklist. Somebody's marking whatever what you did, what you didn't do. And so keep um, following the structure that you use when you were practicing. And always when you heard when I mean I use this when I, I was hearing the five minutes that you have five minutes to to leave the room, uh, that's the point where you know if you're doing a good job with the timing or not. Because mm. if five minutes and you're still doing, uh, not even starting the physical exam or or just starting the physical exam, you're in trouble because you still have to, you have to like not freak out, but like try to finish as fast as you can the physical, very focused, and then um, try to do your best to close the the encounter and give uh, counseling. Always counseling. Okay. So how long are you supposed to spend on one patient? Um, you're supposed to have a uh, 15, 15 minutes with each. Okay. So in that 15 minutes, you have to do what? Take history, diagnosis, Everything. treatment. Okay, so and how many patients are you supposed to, cases are you supposed to uh, solve in the CS? Eight. Eight cases. In, CS is one day exams, right? One day, yes. You have to, you have to start, and they, they provide lunch, and, uh, but it's the, the break, uh, you don't decide when the, everybody takes the break uh, at the same time. Oh, okay. So all the eight um, cases, you have to get everything correct, all the diagnosis correct in all the eight, or it doesn't matter whether you get some correct or not? Uh, I'm not sure um, because they evaluate you, they evaluate in the CS, they evaluate three different things. Um, how I you are with the with the patient itself like the interacting with you with the patient if you ask the right things and also if you, how do you do the physical exam counseling everything you say and you, you interact with the patient your english the other thing is your english proficiency and the last thing is the note so oh, okay you do a really good job with the patient, but then you don't, you kind of like have a very uh, great. So I think all that things like balance, but I believe you have to have um, um, at least six right cases. Okay. okay, so after the, the CS, did you know you were going to pass? Yes, I was very confident. Uh, I. I, because I practice uh, all the cases and kind of like similar environment. Uh, I, okay. I felt, of course, there are always one or two cases that you're like, ah, oh, this is weird. Uh, I should have done this. Ah, oh, I missed that. Uh, there is always things that you're gonna miss. But in an overall um, experience, I, I was feeling confident and I, I knew that. I finished all the encounters 
on time. I did counseling, I washed my hands in all of them. I asked about risk factors um, and I, I had time to type all the notes. Okay, so for fresh graduates who hasn't practiced before, like how you have the field experience, do you think the person has to join a, a, a special lecture or practicing on his own is enough like what you did? If you have had experience with patients before, I think that's going to be a good thing for your experience. And also practicing with somebody else is very, I, I mean, it's very important and practice the whole thing. Not just the questions, not just the physical, not just the notes. You have to practice the whole, the whole thing over and over and over again. So you, you have in your mind what is going to be the, the your checklist because in your in your head you have to have your checklist and you have to do the same with all of them. Okay, okay. So in your opinion, you think the CS is easy to pass compared if, to the other steps? It's not easy, but if you practice and you have your own template and your own schedule and you're very organized with the things that you need to do, you're, you're going to pass it. It's not just, just go and talk and then write uh, a poor note and you're going to pass. No, I think you and you have you have to really work on your empathy with the with the with the patient because that's something that is, is really important to you. Oh, OK. OK, so do you have any particular advice for any people, anyone preparing for the CS? So for the CS, your template, I think is. It's very, very important having a, a, a good template and always you have to probably in. 45 in, in 45 seconds, you have to. Do your template right before you you enter the room because you can't write down anything in that in that sheet of paper after they they told you like it's time to start the encounter and that's when you have 45 seconds to really quick uh, do your template and put all the information that you want to add and so first of all like your template second practice all the cases that you have in the first and the first day. It doesn't matter if you get tired doing the same, but practice twice, all of them. And find a partner that is going to take the exam around the same time as you. So you both are putting all the same effort. I'm not saying that if you're taking the exam later, you're not going to be putting your effort. But when you know that the exam is close, you really mm. want to do a good job so you're like putting all the same energy than the other person is is looking for that and oh. having uh, like a wise space practice i know during covid is very difficult i mean there's not gonna be cs until next year so for now i mean it's have changed but when everything is, is is back to to normal and the centers are open again and it's very important to practice 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 have your own template and have somebody that is responsible that has a good energy and is willing to give you feedback and you're willing to give feedback to the other person too okay thank thank you doctor so uh, usually when you have a feel or low scores on especially step one, they say it, it's kind of it's difficult to match. So mm -hmm. how did you build your CV and how did you make yourself uh, more uh, upgrade yourself to, to, to match 